A couple of weeks ago, I asked for more of your weather questions for future episodes of Heather's Weather Wise, and I got some really good ones, like this one from Joni. She wants to know why some clouds can look so much darker than others, even if they have nothing to do with a big storm. So that's what I'm going to answer in this week's Heather's Weather Wise. I think the real reason I like this question so much is that I can relate to it on a really personal note. When I was a little kid, I was terrified of thunderstorms, and anytime I saw the sky get dark, I assumed the worst and immediately went to go hide in the basement. I'm over that now, of course, but there is something striking about a blackening sky. It doesn't always guarantee an intense thunderstorm, but if you are looking at the clouds from the right angle, it can be a good indicator. You see, it's all about light and the way it gets bounced around. When you look at a cloud from a great distance, it looks white. That's because the water molecules that make up the cloud are scattering the entire visible light spectrum to our eyes. But as that cloud gets closer, the angle that the sunlight has to travel through to get to our eyes is changing, and that's what changes the look of the cloud. Now incoming visible light from the sun has to pass through an even thicker layer of cloud, but not all of that light is going to make it through. It gets scattered in other directions, so less light makes it to our eyes, and the area of the cloud that's closer to us appears darker. This shadowing can be amplified close to sunrise or sunset. That's because sunlight has to pass through an even thicker layer of the atmosphere and a thicker section of the cloud before reaching our eyes. A cloud with larger water droplets inside is also going to appear darker than a cloud with smaller droplets. That's because those bigger water molecules are going to be deflecting larger amounts of light, creating a bigger shadow. Same can be said for a taller cloud versus a shorter cloud. The taller cloud has more water particles and thus is able to scatter even more light. Since the severity of a storm is often related to how much water is in the cloud and how tall the cloud is, it's a pretty safe assumption that a darkening sky can indicate a coming deluge, but remember, that's not the end-all be-all. What I find really interesting is that some of the most intense rain and hailstorms can actually have a greenish glow, too. It's not totally clear why that happens, though. Some researchers believe it has to do with the angle of the sun, the time of day, and our position relative to the storm. Storms with large amounts of precipitation may also be able to filter out certain visible wavelengths more than others, letting the green wavelengths pass through. Black, green, yellow, blue, whatever colors you see in the clouds, doesn't necessarily mean you have to duck into the basement like little me. It can be a good indicator of a coming intense storm, but remember, it could also just be a trick of the light. That's it for this week's Heather's Weatherwise. I'll see you next week with a new topic, but until then, remember it's good to be a geek.